Some of the other trends that we're witnessing is globalization. We have to have a very broad focus and look how this is going to affect everybody. That the state of California is going to face a $53 billion budget shortfall. Everything that gets connected to the California state budget is going to be impacted. Well, you know, I, I really appreciate uh, both of you um, being here on the show. It, it, you know, I've learned a lot tonight and I think our audience has been able to learn a lot. And I want to keep you guys on the show and talk very briefly about something that I'm teeing up for a future show. And that has to do with what's called deep fake technology. Um, and if there are these apps out there and there are professionals out there for a very low cost who can create uh, content that makes it look like it's you or someone else. And we're going to actually have a sample to show you if uh, Jamie's going to tee that up for us. Sorry. It is fun, but it's scary. I mean, you can't even tell. It's not like watching Final Fantasy where it's CGI. It's it's real. I mean, it, it looks like it's Tom Cruise and they can do it with the voice as well. And it's cheap. So you think of the implications. There have been cases of uh, revenge porn, which has to do with someone trying to def to to uh, defame your reputation by putting your face in something that's not you. And it can affect someone's career. It can affect someone's emotional well-being. Um, in politics, I know there's going to be candidates start using this technology to smear their opponents. And it's going to be my face on some an actor doing something they shouldn't be doing. And, oh, Mike did this. I mean, this is so dangerous. Talk about fake news. This is completely manufactured slander. So what are your thoughts on the evolution of technology down this route? Like I said, it's fun, but I can see when you, br when you bring it to light that way, I can definitely see how um, how things could be misconstrued or altered. I will say they have done tests where they've created fake influencers. I don't know if you're familiar with it, but they've created actual CG or these um, artificial intelligence that are influencers or that are models. And they are getting paid. These it, it's, a, a, it's a woman and a man who created this influencer and she's getting paid or they're getting paid to put her in different campaigns. And she's done huge campaigns. I mean, like, like international, big name brand, like um, high-end luxury designer campaigns. And it is taking work away from actual models and influencers, but at the same time, at least the creators behind her are getting paid for the content and for their work. But it, it does kind of, it is scary at a point because it's like, at what point does the actual human um, or the actual person become unnecessary. Any thought on that? Uh, it's kind of a different subject, but given that you're in that world, uh, Casey, I'd love to hear your thoughts on, on this. Well, I think that when, when you get the app, I mean, it's all fun and games, you know, when you're like, oh, I can put my face on, you know, like I was playing with it and I'm like, oh, I'm going to put my face on Elvira and I'm going to do it on Lily Munster. But really when you start to think about how dangerous it really could be and how that we've put the technology in the hands of anybody and how dangerous it could be and how really, I mean, we've all seen what a problem it can be, how you can put something on social media and people believe it without ever putting a second thought into it. And I, I see it. I mean, we've all seen it, like, especially during the pandemic and during the elections, it's, it's a huge problem. Misinformation is spread all the time. Um, I mean, even, I mean, we've all seen the thing about the toilet spider, right? Like, you know, the thing about like the, the spider that goes under your toilet lid and lays the eggs and then they come out and bite you to where they had to like put it on Snopes. I mean, people believe literally anything that you put on there. So why wouldn't they believe a video that's totally deep faked? 